minus four. Set our heart's desire to be holy. Is that in our sanctification or in our justification, we are already holy. Because the holiness of Christ becomes our holiness and His righteousness becomes our righteousness. Then we are holy and set apart for you, o Lord. Like Apostle Paul, his life has been set apart for you. And he became unstoppable. Salamat po sa gaming ito kung paano po kayo mangusap sa bawat kasasamin. Lord, let it be that your words will become so alive in our hearts and our lives tonight. Lord, buhay na buhay po ang inyong pananasalita sa puso namin at sa buhay namin. Mangusap po kayo sa aming panal na Espiritu ng Diyos. Hallelujah to your name. Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Palakpakan po natin ang Panginoon. Praise God. Everybody say, Praise the Lord. Amen. Well, we really have to pray hard. <laughs> because um, I learned that many churches in Korea, especially in Daegu City, hindi na sila nag-worship no last Sunday. Because of the fear or the contamination of the coronavirus. So, marami na, no? Um, some part of, the, of Korea right now are not allowed to come to the Philippines because of the fear of infection. Italy are closing their schools and universities right now. Same with Iran. Let's pray that this coronavirus, COVID-19, will be contained as soon as possible. And God will do something for this. Amen. Amen. God will do something that His people must be must be protected. Everybody say protected. These people must be preserved. Amen. Amen. Especially yung mga kapatid natin no, na nasa medical practice, medical field. Kanina, I talked to Angel and because they were on the forefront. Sabi mo, Angel, you will really have to pray for God's protection because you are in the hospital every day. Kaya ngayon, supposedly, Karilangan Festival sa Jensen, wala. No activity at all. Walang activity. No concert, no nothing. Okay, so, we have to pray. Pray hard that uh, God will do something this. But maybe this is a reminder for all of us. A reminder that man must have to trust the Lord. Amen. Everybody say, trust the Lord. Trust the Lord. Because kahit ganito na ka-advance yung science natin, medical field natin still, nangangapa pa rin. And God is causing us to believe and to trust in Him. Panakpakan po natin ang Panginoon. Praise God. This is always the Lord. Ito palagi yung Panginoon. God is bringing us to a situation na wala tayong choice but to trust in Him. Amen. Amen. Kaya nga, before dumating yung, ano, yung mga Hebrew people into the promised land, God allowed them to travel, to wander in the wilderness for 40 years. God put them in a situation na wala silang choice but to trust in the Lord. Kasi doon sa wilderness, hindi sila pwedeng mag-business. Sa wilderness, walang mall. Sa wilderness, walang electricity. Sa wilderness, walang tubig. Sa wilderness, walang bahay. Sa wilderness, no shelter at all. But God provided all this. Sa wilderness, walang pagkain. Okay? Walang ista, walang dagat, walang, walang tubig. Nothing is there except for God. I believe that God is right now talking to the people in the world. That I'm bringing you into this situation so that you will trust me once again. Panatpakan po natin ng malakas. 
Yes, hindi na natin pwedeng asahan ang ating mga scientists for this. They are trying hard. You have to pray for them. But right now, they cannot do anything about this. Sabihin mo sa tani mo, just trust the Lord. <laughs> this is Apostle Paul. Romans chapter 1 verses 1 to 17, continue natin yung pinag-usapan natin ng last na. <laughs> so, so, lugit, kingaman, uso, pagkit ng trangkaso ni Satan. So, <laughs> ไอ้เด็กเลยนะแล้วโอ้สุขกิจเป็นตรังกาเฮ้ยสิงโกตุกสุนดุกกิจบ่าเนาะงาคราบิอันโกโรนาไวรัสเคียร์ปกติมากะ
When I was still a Pharisee, I was a boss. But right now, I'm no longer a boss. I'm a slave because I am serving, but I'm not serving. You keep it so good, a boss. I'm serving the Lord of Lords and the King of Kings. Palakpakan po natin ang malakas ang Panginoon. This is the reason why, sabi natin ng last Wednesday, Moses was called the slave of God. David is a man after God's own heart, but he is also called the slave of God. Abraham was a friend of God, but he was also called himself as what? Called himself as what? As a slave of God. So tayo, na nagsiserve kay Lord, nag-worship kay Lord, taas no, kahit kanino. Palagpagan mo si Lord. Nakita niyo sa church, this is the only institution na walang amo, walang general, walang kernel. Lahat pantay-pantay, happily serving and worshiping the Lord. Every Sunday, worshiping in Jensen's at the Bernacle, I'm preaching in Jensen's at the Bernacle of Praise International. Makikita ko, I'm so, so, so happy and so blessed. Kasi nakikita ko, yung pinaka-boss na may-ari ng kompanya, ang katabi niya ay katulong niya. Yung isang katabi niya, manager niya. Yung nasa likod niya, mga tauhan niya. They were all, mag, they were all singing the same song, listening to the same sermon. Yung colonel katabi niya, yung sargento niya, singing the same song and listening to the same sermon. Saan mo makikita yan? Sa church lang, sa pagsiserve ka, Lord, palakpakan po natin ang Panginoon sa isa. Oh, si Ate Chris minsan, board member natin, nagugugas ng plato. Saan mo magkikita niya? Sa church na. Oh, si Dr. Ramagan, at saka si Dr. Bot. Pagkatapos ng worship natin, minsan, gapanghimos pa na. Gaserve pa sa atong, sa atong yung pagkaon. Saan mo makikita niya? Sa church na. Amen. Amen. Kasi proud tayo na nagsiserve kay Lord. Yes, we are serving. We are not the boss. God is the boss. But, matindi yung boss natin. Matindi yung master natin. Nagluluto tayo. Nagdadala tayo ng pagkain dito. Everyone is moving, contributing, dahil gusto natin mag-serve kay Lord. Palakpakan po natin ang Panginoon. Serving God means enjoying life with God. Amen! Amen. Romans chapter 6, 20 to 22. Tingnan natin. Romans chapter 6, 20 to 22. This is beautiful. When you were slaves to sin, so, ano ka daw before? You're slave to sin. Sino ang boss mo? Sin. Kasi slave ka ng sin. Sino ang pinagsisilbihan mo? Yung sin, of course. You were free from the control of righteousness. Okay? 21. This is, you were slaves to sin before. Sabi ni Paul. Okay? 21. What benefit did you reap at the time from the things you are now ashamed of? When you were serving sin, nung slave ka pa ng sin, pag, pag, ano mo, pag, pag naisip mo ngayon yan, na yung kasalanan ng pinagsisilbihan mo, yung kasalanan ng master mo, kasalanan ng boss mo, kinakahiya mo na yun. Bakit? <laughs> Alam ko yun, kasi dati yung mga member natin sa Jensa, mga sampung hero, <laughs> so, ilang ektarya yung mga manok nila grabing kastos every day ngayon daw, so every Sunday nandun sila, nandun sila sa, sa sabungan baga pa, nandun na sa sabungan oh, kinukondisyon yung manok right now, kinalikuran ito okay, they were serving sin before masyadong sugaron tapos karong daw pag nakakita daw sila sa tao nga nagadala manok pagkat sa sabungan Ya, kulisong kasi magkagasin. Ang pinsa daw, yung isang member ko, yung, yung pick up niya, yung high locks niya, ipark niya muna, doon sa may, ano, sa may gilid ng daan. And then he closed his eyes and said, Thank you, Lord. I'm free from that kind of slavery. Kasi nakikita niya, pinigta to, yun ang kaligayahan niya before. 
Magdangan ng manok, ibrisan, di papunta sa sabungan. Ngayon, pag naisip niya, tumatawa siya at sinasabi, Bakit? Bakit? Why? Kasi ano yung the things that you are ashamed of, right now, pag, pag naano mo na. Okay? Pag pumasok sa nightclub, yung mga yun, pambira, may ari ng nightclub, i-close mo, manager. Kami ang hari dito. Babayaran namin lahat ng income for the whole night. May yaman eh. Ngayon, pag, pag na-remember nila yung mga activities na yun, they were so ashamed of. Ano siya, ayaw nalang i-share yun. Because, nakakaliya, sabi niya yung ginagawa namin para di po. Yan yung sinasabi ni po. Ay, wala kang magawa. Because you were slaves of sin before. You're serving sin before. You see, those things what results in death. But you see in verse 22, sabi ni po, wala nang, walang benefit. Nakakahiya pa. But now, ah, sabihin mo sa tinin mo, but now, <laughs> but now, that you have been set free from the slavery to sin, and now you become what? Sabi ko sa inyo, hindi ko theology ito. This is the theology of Paul. Amen. This is not my, this is not my own belief. Yeah. Sinasabi ko sa inyo. This is the theology of the Bible. Now, you have been set free from serving sin, and you become what? Slaves to God. Sabi ko, di ba? The last, last Wednesday, it's not about freedom. But it's only what? It changed of master from serving sin to serving God. Palapakan po natin ang Lord. Praise God. The same thing. Okay, sabi natin sa Exodus 7, it's not about freedom. Okay? From serving Pharaoh for 400 years to serving God in the wilderness. Now you have been set free and you become slaves to God. The benefit you reap leads to holiness. Ah... Kanina, nakakahiya. Ngayon, ano? Holiness and the result is what? Lakasan mo. What's the result? Palakpangan mo, Lord. Who are you? Tanungin mo yung katabi mo. Who are you? <laughs> Who are you before the Lord? Yes. Hallelujah. Who am I? And then, sabi ni Paul, I, Paul, I'm the slave of God. I'm serving Him. Binago ako ng Panginoon para maglingkod sa Kanya. Binigyan niya ako ng bagong buhay para maglingkod sa Kanya. No more, no less. Who am I? I, Paul, the slave. What's the next question? Who is my master? Romans chapter 1, verse 1. Romans 1, 1. And in first question, who am I? Paul said, I'm a slave. What's the next question? Who is my master? Ah, Paul! The servant of Christ, Jesus. The servant of who? The slave of who? Christ Jesus. Christ is my master. Ah! Hindi basta-basta yung boss ko. Hindi basta-basta yung ginaalagaran ko. Nainom ko ba? He is the Lord of Lords and the King of Kings. Palakpakan mo ng malakas si Lord. Hallelujah. The question is, paano mo naging master si Jesus? That's the question. Paano mo naging Lord si Jesus? Paano mo naging master ang Diyos? Number one, listen to this very carefully. God is your master in terms of your creation. Everybody say creation. He created you and me. He created us. The life that we have is from God. Everybody say from God. Ang buhay mo ay nanggaling sa Panginoon. He is our creator. So siya ang nagmamayari ng buhay natin in terms of our creation. It is only nang mag ang tao sa Kanya na hindi na binigyan halaga ng tao ang katotohanan ito. Bakit? Tanongin niyo mo ako, bakit, Pastor? Bakit, Pastor? Dahil ang gusto ng job, no, 
when he tempted Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden, okay, ay hindi i-acknowledge ng tao na Diyos ang may-ari ng buhay niya. Tingnan nyo, Genesis chapter 3, verses 1 to 5. This is the temptation of Adam and Eve. Genesis 3, 1 to 5. Siguro sa salita, sinasabi ng tao, ang Diyos ang may-ari, pero sa gawa, hindi nangyayari yun. Yeah. The serpent was, was, was more crafty than any of the wild animals the Lord God had made. He said to the woman, Did God really say you must not eat from the tree in the garden? From any tree in the garden? Sinabi ng Panginoon na bawal kumain na lahat ng prutas dito sa garden. Iniiba niya yung word ng Panginoon. But this is very, very tricky. Verse 2. Um, parang pinapalabas ng jablo dito you must not eat from any tree na dalok-dalok ng Diyos okay? na bawal talaga kumain ng kahit anong, anong prutas doon sa dalok-dalok ng Diyos nyo okay? siling ni Ed, the woman said to the servant eh, hindi, hindi totoo yan we may eat uh, fruit from the trees in the garden pwede, pwede kami kumain eh, hindi totoo yung sinasabi mo na hindi kami pinapakain ni Lord ng kahit anong prutas dito okay? hindi dalok si Lord Pwede kanyang kumain. But God did say, you must not eat from the tree that is in the middle of the garden. Pero sinabi ng Panginoon, hindi kami pwede kumain ng isang puno lang. No? Ng prutas ng isang puno lang. You must not touch it or you will die. Uh, Dinagdagan niya ng touch at tuloy eat lang. Okay. So, yung mga edition na, uh, hindi na natin pwede i-touch din yan kasi masyadong matagal yan. Okay. Basta dinagdagan niya. <laughs> Eh, instead of eating lang, he, he add the word touch. Wala sa, wala sa covenant ng Panginoon, instruction ng Panginoon kay Adam yung touch. Eat lang. Dinagdagan ni Eve din isa. Kaya, mahirap pong chismis din isa. Dinagdagan. No? Kasi hindi naman si Eve ang first recipient ng command ng Panginoon. Si Adam. Si Adam, nirelate niya kay Eve. Parang chismis na. Second hand information na yun sa kanya. First hand information na receive ni, ni Adam. Okay, verse 4. Hindi, pwede kami kumain, pero isang puno na bawal. Verse 4. Tingnan natin. Sabi ng serpent, you will not surely die. Actually, pag kinakin nyo yan, sabi ng Diyos, you will surely die. Pero sabi ng serpent, you will not surely die. Hindi totoo na mamatay kayo. Sabi niya sa, sa babae. Ano yung unang, in verse 1 kanina, anong pinapalabas ng, ng Diablo? Nadalok-dalok si Lord. So kung naman pinapalabas niya, tikalon si Lord. Kasi sabi ni Lord, if you eat this fruit knowing what is good and what is evil, you will, you will surely die. So sabi ng servant, you will not surely die. So hindi totoo yung sinasabi ng Diyos. Ah, ganyan yung Diablo. Verse 5. Tingnan natin. For God knows, sabi ng Diyablo, that when you eat of it, your eyes will be open and you will be like God, knowing good and evil. Hindi kayo mamamatay. Dito ito mamatay kayo. God is not telling you the truth. Here is the truth, sabi ng Anas. You'll be like God and you will also know what is good and what is evil. Alam niyo kung ano implication nito? Self-sufficiency. Kung pariho na kayo ng Diyos, na alam mo na kung ano ang mabuti at hindi mabuti sa'yo, then you don't need God anymore. Hindi mo na kailangan ng Diyos. Pagkali mo na kayo. Then you don't need God anymore. This is self-sufficiency. Pariho na kayo ng Diyos. Then hindi mo na kailangan ng Diyos. Because sabi ni Eve at ni Adam, Really? We'll be, become like God. Maganda yan. Okay yan. Ah. Because man wants to become like God. Tingnan nyo. Okay, instead of listening to the words of God, na huwag kainin, they listen to the words of the demon, of the serpent. And because of this rebellion, men must have to hard to work hard para mabuhay siya. Genesis chapter 3, verse 19. You need to work hard para mabuhay ka. Sipag at Tsaka ang kailangan mo para mag-improve ka. By the sweat of your brow, 
you will eat your food until you return to the ground since from it you were taken for dust you were you are and to dust you will return because of this rebellion men must have to work hard to death so ang tao he worked very hard nag-aral ng tudo hanggang makatapos at naging successful malaki na ang sahod malaki na ang income so minsan he doesn't need God anymore sa buhay niya sabi ng isang taong kausap ko Pastor you know my house is big I have lots of money in the bank because I work hard para yumaman ako hindi ako nagsisipa hindi ako nagsiserve sa Diyos pero yumaman ako In short, pinapamukha niya sa akin na yumaman siya at walang naitulong ang Diyos sa kanya. Sa ganitong ugali, sinasabi niya na siya ang boss ng buhay niya. Nasa kamay niya ang buhay niya. At siya ang nagmamayari ng buhay niya at lahat ng nasa kanya. Labas ang Diyos sa buhay niya. Kasi nagsumikap ako, okay, I work very hard para maabot ko to. Diyan, nagkamali ang tao. The devil become successful by telling men, humanity, that if you eat this fruit knowing what is good and what is evil, you will become like God and you don't need God anymore. Dahil naniwala ang tao, doon sa tiyablo, doon siya ng kamali. Bakit? Dahil sa isang isap mata, pwedeng mawala ang lahat sa iyo, pati buhay mo. Kahit anong mangyari, hindi pa rin mawawala ang katotohanan ng buhay mo ay galing sa Diyos at Diyos ang may gawa nito. Palakpakan po natin ang malakas ng tayo. Narating ang araw na hindi ka pwedeng mag-time out sa Diyos pag kinuha na niya ang buhay mo. Because in your creation, God owns you. Amen. Amen. He owns the time. Now, who is your boss? Who is your master? God. Everybody say, God. God. Creation pa lang yan. If you have received Jesus as Lord and Savior in your life, God also is your master in terms of your salvation. Amen. 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 God is your master kanina in terms of your what? Creation. Kung ikaw tumanggap sa Panginoon, God is your master in terms of your salvation. Bakit? Galatians chapter 3, verse 13. Acts chapter 20, verse 28. And 1 Corinthians chapter 7, 21 to 23. Hingan natin. Bakit mo naging master ang Panginoon in your salvation? Galatians chapter 3 verse 13 Sabi ni Paul Christ redeemed us from the what? From the curse of the law What's the word there? Ano yung salita niya? Redemption Amen Ibig sabihin ginano ka Ibig sabihin pag gilukat ka Ginkawad ka Ginbakal ka Di kung sa pong siya Sino ang tagiya Ang pagkuha ng bakal eh. Ang nagkawad eh. Alang-alang gawa doon kung nagkagihatag si Iman. Acts chapter 20 verse 28. In what sense Jesus is your master in your salvation? Kanina, in your creation. No? Okay. Yan, in your salvation. Acts 20, 28. Anong sabi? Dino, it's very clear. 
Therefore, Acts 20, 20, take heed to yourselves and to all the flock among which the Holy Spirit has made you overseers to shepherd the church of God, which He walked, which He purchased with His own blood. Kanina niridin ka. Ngayon dito sa Acts chapter 20 verse 28, ikaw ay ano? Pinili talaga. So kahit saan dun sa dalawa, niridin ka, gigawad ka, gilukat ka, o binili ka, still God is your master. Amen! Amen. Yung bakal ka. Kag hindi basta-basta ang ginbayad para sa mo. You have been purchased by His own blood that to cross. Amen. Palakpakan mo na malakas ito. Ito yung dapat manaman ng tao para pagsilbihan niya ng totoo ang kanyang Diyos. Amen. Bakit sa atin, serving God is just a matter of option, just a matter of alternative because we don't know. Sige ng pastor, pag may uras ako sa Domingo, ah, kasi ba kami, kape! Pag wala kami kaduan, sige, mas no, no, no. Pag hindi ako sa ako, pas... ito, may, ito may utak na loob pa ko pag nagsimba ka. Di ba? Para nagkaroon pa ko ng utak na loob pag, nag, pag nag-worship ka sa Panginoon, pag nag-alagad ka sa Ginodo, ako pa may utak na loob. Ibang klase. 1 Corinthians chapter 7, verse 21 to 23. Ano sabi ni Paul? Well, we cannot blind people because they don't know this. Okay. Sabi mo sa tabi mo, share this. Share this. Share this to many people. 1 Corinthians 7, 21. Okay. To 23. Were you called? Were you called while slave? Do not be concerned about it, but if you can be made free, rather than use it, you're called when you were still slave. Verse 22. Tinawag ka nung ikaw ay isang ano ba? Isang slave ka ba? Okay? Verse 22. Isang, For he who is called in the Lord while a slave is the Lord's free man. Okay? Likewise, he who is called while free is Christ what? Slave. Hindi servant yan. Slave pa rin yung ginamit mo. Ayaw natin yan. Kasi ang magpeta ko, ayaw ko yan. <laughs> At wala akong choice kasi ginlokat ako, ginggawad ako sa itong nag-serve pa ako sa kasalanan. Diri naman ginbakal ako sa dugo ni Kristo. Sa slave pa ako sa kasalanan. Kasi sino ang boss ko? Sino ang lagaron ko subong? That's the question. I'm listening to Paul. That's the question of Paul. Uh, who am I? I'm Paul. I'm a slave. Then the question, who is my master now? Who is my boss now? Of course the Lord. Amen. Palagpakan mo na mga lakas Lord. Praise God. So nung wala ka pag Christo, slave ka rin, di ba? Walang panahon na hindi ka slave. You're always a slave. Pero ang kagandahan na ngayon, you are not a slave of sin anymore. But you are what? A slave to Christ. Amen. Okay. Pag pumasok ka ng nightclub, before sabi ko kanina, galanti ka, di ba? You spent two months sa Madjong, sa Sugal, buong gabi. Ngayon, pag natapos tayo ng alas 9, sabi, pambihira naman nung katagal naman nun. Eh, sa Madjong, before, whole night naman, okay. Di ba? Isang manghihi kayo, nagwanta mo, nagpusisaw ka na lang kayo. Hindi ka ginkihi kayo, basi magpungtok na tupa. Ang pingin. Slave ka ng drugs. Slave ka ng alcohol. Sugal. Cellphones. Games in internet. Di ba? Ay, alam muna na pala ng madaling araw. Huwag ko siya, huwag ka puli. Ang pinira, alas just in media na ako. Grabe na mga worship na. Pagpapagpagon mo sa cellphone, 1.30 na pala. <laughs> gusto mo lang matulog, sige pa rin. Sige pa rin, gusto mo lang magpahinga, sige pa rin. Why? Ba't wala kang magawa? Gusto mong bumait mo, di mo magawa. 
Because you are a slave. You are being controlled. Kontrolado ka. Ngayon, ayaw mo ba? Gusto mong kontrolin ng madyong before, walang problema. Kontrolin ka ng manok mo, walang problema. Kontrolin ka ng drugs, walang problema. Kontrolin ka ng alkohol, walang problema. Ngayon, kinokontrol ka ng Diyos, ayaw mo, may problema na, ha? Sabi ni Paul, I am a free man from serving sin and unrighteousness. But still, I need to serve. And that is my God. Amen. Amen. Everybody say, my God. my God. Now you have a new master, a new boss. Who is that? That is Jesus. God has has exclusive ownership to you. Take note of this. Exclusive ownership. You see, in your creation and in your salvation, you are exclusively owned by God. We live to serve the Master. We live to please the Master. Amen. Amen. Kahit saan pala tayo pumunta? Sa creation man? O sa salvation man natin? We are being owned by God. But praise God. Everybody say praise God. Praise God. Nandito ka ngayon. You are serving and worshiping your master. Amen. Amen. Sabihin mo sa katabi mo, nandito ka ngayon. Kumakan ka ka na at nagpupuri sa kanya. So today, you are pleasing Him. Amen. Amen. Noon, pong lang, buro pong. Okay. Nakikinig ka na sa kanyang mga salita ngayon. You are obeying God. 24-7, on call po tayo to serve our Master, which is our God. Palakpakan po natin ang Panginoon. Who am I? I, Paul, I'm not serving sin anymore. I'm free from the power and control of sin. But still, I need to serve because I have a new master. Amen. Amen. I have a new boss na aking paglilingkuran. And that's my Jesus. Everybody say, my Jesus. He is my master now. Sabi ni Apostle Paul, palagpakan po natin ang Panginoon. Hallelujah. Tumayo po tayo na. The master controls the slave. Ayan na notice niyo before. Nung master mo pa ang kasalanan, siya pa ang pinagsisilbihan mo, he controls you. Wala kang magagawa. Okay? Kaya na, tama yung kanta. Gusto kong bumait, ngunit di ko magawa. Because I'm being controlled. Ang bihira. But now, God is controlling you through His Holy Spirit. Amen? And you're serving Him. Yun ang pinakamaganda sa lahat. So walang panahon na hindi ka at hindi ako slave. Nang wala pa ako kay Kristo, slave tayo, ulipon kita sa salat. Salamat kay Kristo na nagkawad sa aton ay nagpakal sa aton. Karon, eh siya ang nagkawad kag siya nagpakal, makaal pagit. Hindi diamond, hindi gold ang imbayad niya, kundi niya nga ano. Kaya nga dugo dito sa cross at ang baryo, din wala sa rason na hindi ko siya pag-alagaro sa akong kabuhi. Palakpakan mo ko sa Panginoon. In your creation, in your salvation, God has an exclusive ownership with you. In times of this, na lahat ay takot sa coronavirus. Dapat malaman ng lahat ng tao ito. 
who am I? I am Vernel. I am a slave. Who is my master? Not myself. I am not the owner of myself. My master 